Hey, what's up guys? Wood here and uh, today is a very special day. This isn't a product placement. This is actually a gift that my beautiful wife has given me and it's the Tonewood Amp. Now, I just want to give you a quick backstory. I have watched um, and looked at this beautiful piece of magical software since they launched on Kickstarter many years ago and through my stubbornness never got it. I just kept waiting and waiting, kept wishing I'd got it when it was really cheap on Kickstarter and all that jazz. But my wife finally said, you know what? I'm gonna get this for you and so for you baby I thank you because this transforms our acoustic guitars and adds effects to it without having to use an amp. That's literally what it is. It's an amp through your guitar without using an amp if that makes sense. That's why I call it a magic box. It's a little strange how they do it but it, I don't know how the technology works but I'm excited to try this. As you know I'm a guitarist and I have a couple custom built guitars by an amazing guitar luthier called Kip Wood in England that I was blessed with. I have the brother and sister models um, that he created for me. Um, and so we're going to do what we do, which is unbox this and experience this together. The first sound, but I can't wait. So thank you, baby, uh, for this amazing gift. I am very grateful and thankful. Let us open this box. I've got my grandpa's old hunting knife because how else would you open a box but with a hunting knife, obviously. And let's do this. <laughs> I feel like a kid in a candy shop. Um, I have waited for this for so long and um, my wife is just awesome. I love you, baby. Um, anyway, so let's open this um, box. Woo! Exciting! This is so fun. Look at this. Do I look like I'm an excited big baby? Probably smashing stuff, throw stuff around. Okay, we have um, quite an interesting little box here. Uh, check this out. Organic tones, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just want to get it out the box. Now, <laughs> I'm struggling getting it out the box. I don't want to rip the box. It's very well sealed in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My goodness, Tonewood. You created a very solid piece for this. Yeah. Woo! It's coming. Here we go. Wow, oh, good night. This should come off fully, right? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, so there we go. Got it out. There's a little case. Now let's open the box. Okay, so they give you warnings if you all any modifications you put onto your guitar, blah blah blah, is your own uh, responsibility, etc. Um, I want to share this moment. Da -da -da -da. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. Let's see what we got. So we got a funky little Tonewood sticker. That looks nice. I like that. We got the welcome to the. Tonewood Amp Acoustic Guitar 2.0. Okay, so the most important bit. We got a quarter inch jack that connects this Tonewood into the guitar um, pickup. So hopefully that'll be long enough. That looks quite short. My pickup is on the bottom. Hmm. Then, the magic. Check this out. That's it. That's, 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 that's the magic box. Isn't that cool? Wow. Effects. Parameters, all the knobs feel good. Do a little smell test. Smells like plastic. <laughs> Put that down there. Grab my cup of coffee. Okay, I got some sort of sticker modules. Oh, I guess these are spare stickers. So this is the X brace that goes inside the guitar um, to be able to magnetically attach this guy. Whoa, do you see that? That is tough. So basically this goes on the back of my guitar and this goes on the inside of my guitar. And wow, this magnetic connector. Um, wow, that really is strong. That won't, your guitar won't be going anywhere quick for that. That's the vibration speaker. That's what vibrates the back of the guitar and uh, creates all the effects, reverb, plate, wah, all of the stuff that's meant to be on this thing. So. That is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I got a spare one of those. I got a Tonewood spare uh, magnetic X brace as I have two custom guitars, a brother and sister model. Thank you, Kiff. And um, yeah, so I got that. I got a Tonewood 
uh, iDevice cable so you can connect and add even more sounds coming out the sound hole of your guitar so you can add like uh, strings and uh, trumpets and keyboards and pianos and whatever else it turns it into a MIDI channel and then somehow pushes it out the guitar we'll do that on another video because that kind of blows my mind too always buy good quality batteries um, just saves your life two on this side here do you drop in I'm a little excited my hands are shaky. This little power button on here. Hold it power on. Ooh, Toadwood version 2. Point something other get battery of 4. Point blah 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 hall. Oh, it's working. Oh, this is so cool. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna test it first just by putting the X brace on the inside of the guitar and then just letting these two meet together and connecting it to make sure I don't get crazy feedback. Because um, if I do, I need to change the pickup on my guitars, which is sad. Anyway, so that's what you get in a Tonewood box. Sorry for the mess. Grab another sip of coffee. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to get my guitar um, and uh, loosen the strings and do all that jazz. It's very easy to get. Hold on one second. And here's my guitar. Yeah, we're going to... guitar without anything it's a little bit out of tune let me tune this up and I'll come back right back to you so I'm hoping that this is long enough I'm a little nervous Ooh, it just fits output <laughs> so once I have this magnetically attached you notice it just it just fits like this yeah let's do this let's do this boy I'm a little nervous to get my hand in here because I got big hands <laughs> Anyway, excuse me for a moment while I loosen all my strings. Ah! <laughs> I gotta get my hand up. Ouch. Oh. Wow. You can see it's attached. Um, and all I gotta do is take the stickers off. And I don't think that that's. Oh, no, check that out. I'm holding it by the magnets. You know, just holding the neck and that. So you know it's on there. And uh, it doesn't get in the way. I have finally got it. It isn't permanent yet. I haven't taken the little stickers off the X brace that confirms the positioning, but I want to show you this. I had a quick play around. I'll let you know that because I had to figure out what to do when I showed you this. I realized that because my guitar has got a classical body kind of shape, I saw somewhere online that they said that the closer you get it to the middle, the better for a classical body setup. So my custom guitar has got a classic body. Um, so. I realized that the sound sounded better when this vibration speaker that's on the back side of this uh, was closer to the middle. The sound was fuller. Um, and uh, the feedback is only a little bit. I don't have volume control on my guitar, so that may be something I'll upgrade my custom pickup to in the future and have a little volume control on it to be able to balance the audio from this to that. But for all intents and purposes, my test is good. I'm going to have to. <sighs> go back inside there and unsticker it and all that jazz but for now i just wanted to show you real quick uh, the fruits of our labor so this is the guitar um, without it on which is pretty right so now this is the sound with tonewood max it may feed back <laughs> what 
is that? Um, this is called Room. That's crazy. Okay, let's move on to the third one, which is plate. Wow. Can you hear that? It's so weird. It's uh it's just coming out the guitar. I feel like it's coming out like of an auditorium or something. <laughs> so this is delay. You gotta be kidding. Let's up the speed to 25. Let's just see. <laughs> That's so weird. That's just coming out of this. I'm just, it's so strange how that works. Let's move on to uh, Trimdly. Interesting. Anyway, let's move on. Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Now let's do auto walk. Whoa. to mess with the settings because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Let's move on. Overdrive. This doesn't like overdrive too much. I don't have a volume control.
can't really hear the overdrive. I'm not really an overdrive guy anyway, so that doesn't matter to me. Well, it goes to say that I'm gonna be messing around with this for a long time. Big thanks to my beautiful wife. Hopefully I can send you some nice sound links. I'm gonna experiment with the uh, Tonewood eye devices and connect it to software and do all that jazz. But for now, I think I've got it in the right place. I'm gonna secure the X brace on the inside, put it here. For those with guitars that have more of a classical body, take note it definitely sounds better more towards the middle it still doesn't get in the way of your body so it doesn't matter um yeah i'm gonna be found mostly with the guitar for these next few weeks <laughs> thanks for watching if you enjoy this kind of content and reviews and music and adventures Give us a like, subscribe to our channel. God bless you guys, I'll speak to you soon.